Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Honorable President Pervez Musharraf, Begum Saiba Musharraf, Imran Siddiqui, Regional Coordinator for Toronto, members of the Working Committee of Toronto Chapter, members of the media and press, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu Alaikum. On behalf of the All Pakistan Muslim League of North America, it's also my privilege to welcome you all and thank you for making this historic occasion today possible, the first event, the first Jalsa of APML in Toronto. Thank you. In Canada. I would also like on your behalf to welcome President Pervez Musharraf to Toronto, where he also delivered a lecture last night to another distinguished group. But his main reason for coming here was that he could be with us tonight at the launch of the party in Canada. Thank you again, Mr. President. I would like to particularly thank the team led by Imran, as you heard. It was in August that we first met to create a chapter over here. And the first Musharraf Day in North America was celebrated thanks to the efforts of Imran and his team very successfully in Canada, in Toronto, here. And over the last three months, he has led a team. And thanks to your response, today we are launching the chapter in Canada, the first chapter in Canada being in Toronto, and the other chapters are to be followed. We have regional coordinators here from Calgary, Burhan Saab. We have regional coordinators who have come from the United States, Parvez Mahmood Saab. There are others. I'm very sorry if I've forgotten anyone. But ladies and gentlemen, today is a happy occasion, but at the same time, it's really a thought-provoking and a sad occasion. Sad because Pakistan today is facing a very serious threat to its very survival. Pakistan is facing an existential threat, and unfortunately, that existential threat to its survival is from within. It is not from an external source. It is from within due to decades of poor governance. It is from within because of religious extremism. It is from within because of corruption. It is from within because of people who have continuously put their personal interest above national interest. Ladies and gentlemen, that is why we need President Pervez Musharraf to lead Pakistan again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we should not be fooled by some pundits who appear on the national television trying to give the impression that this is national opinion. Aam Admi Jo Pakistan Me they are sick and tired of the same old faces. They are sick and tired of being exploited. They are sick and tired of family and dynastic politics. The people of Pakistan want change. They want change in someone they believe in. And they believed in Parvez Musharraf because he delivered for eight years as president of Pakistan. A new political culture is needed. And you may ask me that why all Pakistan Muslim League and why President Parvez Musharraf, why is he the man who would take Pakistan out of this despondency and out of this abyss into which it has fallen? The answer, ladies and gentlemen, is very simple. I say to you, you can see in your heart and see that you compare any political leader to Parvez Musharraf in Pakistan. And if your heart and your mind don't give you the same thing, that Parvez Musharraf is head and shoulders up and he has delivered, so then you don't vote them, and then you don't have to be with us. These are not better or not. These are not leaders of the leaders of Pakistan. That is why, ladies and gentlemen, we need President Parvez Musharraf to go back and create a new culture, a new political culture, in which every Pakistani will have a voice, in which the middle classes can participate, 
that it is not based upon families that it is not based upon dynasties that it is not based upon biradri that it is not based upon how much money you have no matter how ill gotten that is why ladies and gentlemen the party was launched <coughs> by president musharraf in london on october 1st and he will tell you the president will tell us as to what his vision is for pakistan but let me share with you that the all pakistan muslim league is the party which has been founded on the ideals of the founder of pakistan qaid e azam muhammad ali jinnah who said to his nation on the 11th of august 1947 the famous speech to the constituent assembly in which he said that pakistan is a muslim state but today you are free to go to your churches you are free to go to your temples you are free to go to your mosques for that has nothing to do with the business of the state in due course muslims will cease to be muslims hindus will cease to be hindus not in the religious sense of the word but as citizens of a state in which everybody is equal and president parvez musharraf <laughs> delivered that vision over the last 8 years that is the pakistan which has to be born again that is the pakistan for which people are yearning that is the pakistan to which president musharraf will take and lead the nation and but it cannot be done without your support it cannot be done without your active involvement it cannot be done by being weekend pakistanis whether we are in toronto or in the us it can be done by volunteers it can be done by your passion it can be done because of your commitment if you motivate and mobilize not only here but help motivate and mobilize the friends and relatives and the people of pakistan then this dream can come true then we can make a difference then we can take away the right to political participation from those who deny in the name of democracy it has been nothing but lutocracy in pakistan Ladies and gentlemen I don't need to remind such a distinguished august gathering of the achievements of president musharraf and his administration during the 8 years when he was the president but let me re recall just two the two biggest ones one that he gave true meaning to freedom of speech and made the media azad today agar media azad hai to uska sehra sadar musharraf ke sar pe hai the second the second was giving a voice to the common people at the grassroots through the introduction of the local government system in which our elected mayor a nazim had 30% women represented at every tier of government and who participated in decision making with devolution of power to the real people of pakistan that was the biggest contribution to establishing a sustainable democracy in pakistan and that credit goes to president parvez musharraf <laughs> ladies and gentlemen i'll conclude by telling you that a safe pakistan a stable pakistan means a safe america it means a safe canada without stability and safety in pakistan our future generations can never be safe here nobody can be safe here or anywhere in the world because pakistan is today the epicenter for world peace and that is why we again need president parvez musharraf because whatever he did he did in the national interest of pakistan and he made pakistan a safe place I had the honor and the good privilege and fortune to serve in his administration for 8 years and I can tell you ladies and gentlemen without going into any exaggeration or hyperbole that over this time not only was he my boss but a mentor 
I actually learned to become a better human being by learning from him for compassion and humility and a style. I became a better human being and for that I will always be thankful to President, Mr. President, to you. He was a man who is respected by his friends, by world leaders. He gave hope to the people of Pakistan. He gave dignity to the people of Pakistan when there was none. And he is respected by his adversaries to the extent that Pakistan has a much, much better image because of him. But unfortunately, over the last two years, things have again begun to unravel. And that is why we need President Parvez Musharraf. We need a new leader. We need a leader who is from us.